what is it? What what is it about humanity that that that, that wants to go to the, all the details and stuff and listen? You know, these guys like Fauci get up there and start talking. You know, he doesn't know anything really about anything, and I'd say that to his face. Nothing. The man thinks you can take a blood sample and stick it in an electron microscope, and if it's got a virus in there, you'll know it. He doesn't understand electron microscopy, and he doesn't understand medicine. And he, does, he should not be in a position like he's in. Most of those guys up there on the top are just total administrative people, and they don't know anything about what's going on at the bottom. You know, those guys have got an agenda, which is not what we would like them to have, being that we pay for them to take care of our health in some way. They've got a personal kind of agenda. They make up their own rules as they go. They change them when they want to. And they smugly, like Tony Fauci, does not mind going on television in front of the people that pay his salary and lie directly into the camera. You can't expect the sheep to really respect the best and the brightest. They don't know the difference, really. I mean, I, I like humans, don't, don't get me wrong, but basically there is a, there is a, there's a vast, the vast majority of them do not possess the, the ability to judge who is and who isn't a really good scientist. I mean, that's a problem. That's a main problem, actually, mm -hmm. with science, I'd say, in this century, because science is being judged by people. Funding is being done by people who don't understand it. Okay, who do we trust? Fauci? Fauci doesn't know enough to, you know. If Fauci wants to get on television with somebody who knows a little bit about this stuff and debate him, he could easily do it, because he's been asked. I mean, I've had a lot of people, president of the University of South Carolina, ask Fauci if he'd come down there and debate me on the stage in front of the student body because I wanted somebody who was from the other side to come down there and balance my, because I felt like, well, these guys can listen to me, but I need to have somebody else down here that's going to tell me the other side. But it Fauci was, didn't want to do it. The thing that I learned, like, back in 1968 when I first published a paper by myself in Nature in a field that I had no expertise in at all. Uh, there are no old wise men up there at the top of science, where, which I would have, I really did until 68, I would have thought, you know, if you try to publish a dumb paper in a journal like Nature, it won't get published. If you try to publish a good paper in there, like I later tried to pu publish PCR, the invention of PCR in the same journal, and uh, they didn't take it. So it's, up there, there isn't an up there there. There's no place up on the, there's, the Academy of Science is just a bunch of idiots, just like everybody else. You know, the editors of journals, austere journals even, they're just busy with their little lives and stuff. There are no old wise men up on the top making sure that we don't do something really dumb.